Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. Let's start with your life in Oshawa. How did hockey come into your life? So my dad grew up in Scarborough um, and he played actually. Um, so throughout all the racism he faced in the game, he decided to put his kids in it. So my dad's love for the game really is what found our way on the ice. I know how outspoken you have become, what a voice you are for anti-racism in the world and in hockey specifically. I think you found that voice at Yale, didn't you? Yeah, I found that um, my time at Yale with my teammates wasn't the greatest, but closer to the end, I found that I had a voice and that I had a position to make change at Yale in terms of our athletic department. And with that, I think that the freshman that, that I left behind when I was a senior, uh, Kirsten Good, she's the only other black person I've ever played with. Um, and I made sure that she would have a positive atmosphere when she was there um, and not have to go through the things that I went through when I was at Yale. But overall, I definitely think Yale's made an effort to be incredibly open and accepting. Soraya, explain to me what it's like being the only black person on a team almost all of the time. It is difficult being the only black player on the team, but also I think I had plenty of opportunities to speak up in the past and, and I wasn't quite comfortable in who I was to do so. I could have been changing hockey culture since the moment I stepped on the ice. And I do have regrets about that, but I mean, now that, that we're grown and, and mature, I think that I've made an effort to kind of go back to what I wish I would have done. And it makes it a lot easier when I decided to be unapologetically me. You're 22. It's incredible what you've already accomplished, so I, I hope you know that. I realize that, but at the same time, I, I feel like I'm, I'm a pretty old soul. Um, my parents raised me that way, so I definitely consider myself an old soul. <laughs> Soroya, when I say the phrase to you, hockey is for everyone, what comes to mind? I think the first thing that comes to mind is just the fact that yes, hockey is for everyone. Anybody can put on a pair of skates, anybody can hold a stick, um, but at the end of the day, there are specific communities within the hockey community that still do not feel welcome in the sport. And I think for me, it's important for, for hockey fans to educate themselves on specifically why BIPOC communities do not feel included. Accessibility is key, and I think that as long as we provide that and continue to do so, we'll see the game grow to a place where hockey is really for everyone.